हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज डॉक्टर प्रिया महाजन एंड दिस इज आवर सेकंड सेशन ऑन फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी सॉ द मीनिंग ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट इट्स एवोल्यूशन इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट फॉर द बिजनेस एंड द स्कोप ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट इन दिस सेशन वी विल स्टडी इन डिटेल द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट रोल ऑफ चीफ फाइनेंशियल ऑफिसर एंड वील ऑल्सो सी द रिलेशनशिप of financial management with other disciplines so first of all objectives of financial management efficient financial management requires the existence of some objectives or goals because judgment as to whether or not a financial decision is efficient must be made in the light of some objectives students if you remember in the previous session we talked about the three financial decisions that are investment decision financing decision and dividend decision all these decisions are taken with some objectives although various objectives are possible but we assume two objectives of financial management here for discussion these are wealth maximization and profit maximization so first of all what is profit maximization profit maximization is one of the traditional and widely recognized objective of financial management for business the basic idea behind profit maximization is to generate as much profit as possible while minimizing cost in the context of financial management profit refers to the difference between total revenue and total expenses over a specific period so when total revenue are more than total expenses that is called profit the profit maximization objective is rooted in the assumption that the primary goal of a business is to enhance the wealth of its owner or shareholder so the traditionally when the businesses are at small scales or at small level and there are mostly the sole proprietors then the main aim of the business is only to make profits and increase the wealth of its owner by maximizing profits a company can distribute higher dividends to shareholders reinvest it reinvest in the business for growth repay debts and increase the overall value of the firm so this is what profit maximization is next are the objections to profit maximization now we will see what are the objections to the objective of profit maximization while profit maximization is a traditional and widely recognized objective in financial management but there are several objections and criticisms associated with it some of the main objections include first one is the short term focus so critics they argue that a sole focus on profit maximization may encourage businesses to prioritize short term gains at the expense of long term sustainability this can lead to the decisions that sacrifice investment in research and development employee training and other activities that contribute to long term success so the short term focus of the management on profits only can kill the long term success and sustainability of the business next objection is the ethical concerns pursuing profit maximization without considering ethical consideration can lead to questionable business practices for instance for example a company might cut corners on product quality exploit labor or engage in activities that harm the environment to boost profits so ethical part is somehow also missing when the only objective of the company is the profit next is the ignoring social and environmental impact profit maximization may not account for the broader social and environmental impacts of business activities companies that so, that solely focus that only focus on profit might neglect their responsibility to contribute positively to society and minimize their environmental footprint so while focusing only on the profit maximization companies sometime ignore adverse social and environmental impact of the business activities next objection is the uh, neglect of stakeholders interest 
strict adherence to profit maximization may lead to a neglect of the interest of various stakeholders including employees customers and the community this can result in strained relationship and in the long run negatively impact the company's reputation next is risk of legal violations in the pursuit of higher profits some companies might engage in unethical or even illegal practices this can lead to legal consequences damage to the company's reputation and financial losses in the long term another one is quality sacrifice a relentless pursuit of profit may lead to cost cutting measures that unfortunately compromise on product or service quality this can harm customer satisfaction and loyalty ultimately affecting the company's long term viability employee morale and turnover if profit maximization leads to decisions that adversely affect employees such as cost cutting measures layoffs or inadequate compensation it can result in low morale high turnover rates and difficulties in attract attracting top talent then last one is the market share sacrifice emphasizing profit maximization over other objectives such as gaining market share may cause a company to miss out on potential opportunities which for opportunities for growth and expansion in the long term so these are some objections on the objective of profit maximization only next is the wealth maximization wealth maximization is a key objective in financial management that goes beyond simple profit maximization the goal of wealth maximization is to increase the overall value of the firm considering both the timing and risk associated with expected cash flows so in wealth maximization time and risk factors they are considered unlike profit maximization which focus only on short term earnings wealth maximization emphasizes long term sustainability and the creation of shareholder wealth now now here are some key aspects of wealth maximization in financial management so first one is the shareholder wealth the primary focus of wealth maximization is on increasing the wealth of the shareholders this is achieved by maximizing the value of the firm which includes the present value of expected future cash flow then time value of money now what is time value of money wealth maximization consider the time value of money recognizing that a money received in the future is worth less than a money received today so future cash flows are discounted to their present value to assess their impact on wealth then there is a risk return trade off wealth maximization takes into account the risk associated with different potential investment and financing decisions financial managers aim to strike a balance between risk and return to maximize shareholders wealth financial manager will take the decision uh, where there is a balance between the risk and return now we'll try to understand this trade off uh, concept through an example so let's consider a fictional uh, technology company named tech innovators which is deciding whether to invest in the development of something new and innovative product the company has now two options higher risk high return options so tech innovators could invest a significant portion of its capital in researching and developing a new innovative product with the potential to revolutionize the market this option comes with with a high level of risk as there is uncertainty regarding the product success market acceptance and competition so the development process may take several years and there's a chance that product might not meet expectations but if uh, it's successful however the company could gain a competitive advantage capture a significant market share and achieve substantial financial returns another option is low risk low return option alternatively 
uh, techno innovators could choose to focus on incremental improvements to its existing product line which is a safer and more predictable strategy this option involves lower research and development cost shorter time frame and less uncertainty the company is more likely to see a steady but moderate return on its investment however the conservative approach may limit the company's growth potential and market share compared to the high risk option so in this scenario tech innovators face Uh, faces a trade off between the potential for high return associated with the high risk high return option and the low returns but low risk of the low risk low return option now the decisions of which option they choose will depend on various factors including the company's risk tolerance financial health competitive landscape and market condition a well managed company will carefully assess the risk return trade off and make strategic decisions that align with its overall business objectives and shareholders expectations next aspect is long term perspective so this is the another wealth maximization aspect uh, aspect long term perspective unlike profit maximization which may involve sacrificing long term benefits for short term gains wealth maximization encourage financial managers to adopt a long term perspective this includes making investments in research and development employee training and other activities that contribute to sustained growth then optimal capital structure wealth maximization involves determining the optimal capital structure for the firm this means finding the right mix of debt and equity that minimizes the cost of capital and maximize the ultimately value of the company then investment decisions financial managers make investment decisions based on their impact on the present value of future cash flows projects that increase shareholder wealth are favored while those that do not meet the required return may be rejected then there is a financial decision making wealth maximization guides financial decisions related to financing dividend distribution and risk management financial managers consider how these decisions contribute to the overall value of the firm then market value of share the market value of firm's share is a key indicator of wealth maximization financial managers aim to increase the market value of shares through strategic decisions and actions that enhance the company competitiveness and profitability so these are some key aspects of wealth maximization now next we will see the relationship between the profit maximization and wealth maximization the relationship between profit maximization and wealth maximization lies in their shared objectives of enhancing the financial well-being of a business and its shareholders however there are important distinctions between these two concept so the first one is focus so profit maximization primarily focus on increasing short term profits the emphasis is on generating revenue that exceed cost resulting in a surplus whereas the wealth maximization takes a broader and more long term view by focusing on the overall value of the firm this includes considering the time and risk associated with expected cash flow so time and risk are considered in the wealth maximization then next is the time frame profit maximization tends to be a short term objective as business seek to boost current earnings whereas wealth maximization is a long term objective uh, that prioritizes sustained growth and the creation of shareholder wealth over time next is the limitation profit maximization may not consider the timing and risk associated with cash flows potentially leading to decisions that sacrifice long term sustainability for immediate gain so in profit maximization risk uh, uh, factors and time is not considered 
uh, that is the limitation of wealth uh, profit maximization. Whereas wealth maximization re uh, recognizes the time value of money, the risk return trade off, and the need to balance short term gains with long term benefits. So, wealth maximization is superior to the profit maximization. So, in summary, profit maximization can be seen as a component or means to achieve wealth maximization. While profit is crucial for sustaining and growing a business, wealth maximization guides decision making with a broader perspective that includes consideration of timing, risk and the long term impact on the shareholder value. So, wealth maximization has a broader perspective. Profit maximization has a shorter a perspective and uh, wealth maximization has a broader perspective. The challenge for financial manager is to navigate these objectives in a way that ensures the long term success and prosperity of the business. So now we will see the role of chief financial officer. The changed business environment in the recent past has widened the role of a financial manager. As the company as the economy is opening up and global resources are being tapped, the opportunities available to financial, uh, financial managers virtually no limits. His role assumes significance in the present day context of liberalization, deregulation and globalization. The chief financial officer of an organization plays an important role in the company's goals, policies and financial success. His is responsibilities are here. So first one is financial analysis and planning, determining the proper amount of funds to employ in the firm, that is designing the size of the firm and its rate of growth. Next role is investment decisions, the efficient allocation of funds to the specific assets, then financing and capital structure decisions, raising funds on favorable term as possible, that is determining the composition of liabilities, then management of financial resources such as working capital, then risk management. Risk management is the process of identifying risk, analyzing them and uh, uh, making investment decisions. These can be quantitative or qualitative risk and it is the job of a finance manager to use the available financial instruments to hedge a business against them. So these are some important roles played by the finance officer. Next is the uh, an overview of financial management. So this is an overview of financial management and you can see the relationship between the maximization of market value, financial decision and risk return trade off. Finance manager take all the financial decision whether it, it be a investment decision, financing decision and dividend decision by considering the risk return trade off with the objective of maximizing the market value of share and ultimately the ultimately increase the shareholders wealth. Now we'll see the relationship of financial management with related disciplines. Financial management is closely interconnected with several related disciplines as it involves aspects of various fields to address the multifaceted nature of managing an organization's finances. Here are some key disciplines that have a significant relationship with financial management. So first one is the accounting. So financial management and accounting, they are linked. Accounting provides the financial information and reports in the form of profit and loss account, balance sheet, etc. And financial manager use accounting data to analyze the financial health of the company, make budgeting decisions and ensure compliance with the financial regulation. Next discipline is economics. So economics, economics provides a theoretical framework for decision making at the macroeconomic and the microeconomic level. Financial management applies these economic principles to make decisions related to investments, financing and dividend taking into account the financial implication of various choices. Next is the finance. So finance uh, is a broader field that encompasses the wide range of activities including investments, financial markets, banking, risk management, financial institutions and the study of financial instruments and securities. Financial management focus on the financial aspect of the organization including investment analysis, 
capital budgeting financial planning capital structure and overall management of financial resources next is the marketing marketing decisions of a company can impact of its revenue and consequently its financial performance so finance managers financial managers work closely with the marketing teams to budget for advertising campaigns uh, assess the financial feasibility of product launches and determine the profitability of different customer segments so this is how they work together for the betterment of the company next is the human resource management human resources influence financial outcomes through labor cost employee pro productivity and workforce planning financial manager and hr department they work together to manage labor cost employee benefit and training expenses etc also human resource management and financial management collaborate to ensure that the cost associated with the workforce are in line with the organization's budgetary constraint and financial goals next is the operations management so operation management deals with the production and delivery of goods and services impacting cost and revenue financial manager they work with operations team to optimize production process manage inventory and control cost next discipline is statistics and mathematics statistical and mathematical tools are essential for financial modeling risk assessment and decision analysis financial managers they use these statistical techniques for forecasting analyzing trend analyzing trends and assessing the profitability and assessing the probability of various financial outcomes another one is law so legal framework include business and financial regulation uh, regulations financial managers need to ensure compliance with relevant laws and regulation including those related to financial reporting taxation and corporate governance another one is information technology information technology plays a crucial role in financial data management analysis and reporting financial managers leverage it system for financial planning budgeting and decision support so the interdisciplinary nature of financial management highlights its integration with various fields emphasizing the need for financial managers to have a broad understanding of business functional business functions and external factors influencing financial performance effective financial management often requires collaboration and coordination across these disciplines to enhance organizational goals so this is all about the financial management now let's have a, a quick re uh, recap of this session so we uh, done that there are traditionally two objectives of financial management out of the two objectives profit maximization and wealth maximization in today's real world situation which is uncertain and multi period in nature wealth maximization is a better objective then we studied the role of chief financial officer chief financial officer of an organization play an important role in the company's goals policies and financial success then financial manager management is closely interconnected with several related disciplines as it involves aspect of various fields so students i hope you uh, like this session till the next session bye and happy learning